guys, my name is Luis, I am a travel vlogger. We're in Mexico City. We're going to explore this beautiful city from the food to the architecture, the music. Bienvenidos a Mexico. Over the course of 700 years, Mexico City has evolved from an Aztec city into one of the wealthiest and most important cities on the planet. This sprawling metropolis is the political, economic, and cultural core of Mexico. We landed at Mexico City in a national airport, Benito Juarez, and within 45 minutes, we were on the road heading towards the city's historic center. During our time in Mexico, we stayed at the Hilton Hotel Reforma, which is central to many historical and cultural places, such as the Palace of Fine Arts and the National Palace. Our room was on the 12th floor, overlooking the Alameda Central Park with stunning views of Mexico City. Very spicy. It is. It's going to kick in. Super good. It was so good that I don't even remember what we had. But um, so this is like, this is very close to kind of the main city area but honestly if you want to find like the best food you have to go like in the kind of in the inside streets because that's where the locals go and that's where the best food is so we're gonna keep walking there's a lot of people in town it's a very vibrant town and we're gonna see if we can find um, something sweet so uh, we'll see if we can find it here in Mexico City we're at Zócalo which is where the Palacio Nacional is located or National Palace. This building houses the executive branch of the government of Mexico including the office of the president. During our walk around the National Palace, we noticed Aztec dancers, technically known as concheros. The Aztec Empire ruled central and southern Mexico in the 15th and early 16th centuries. Inspired by ancient rituals, they seek to honor the gods and blessings for four cardinal points, fertility, earth, fire, and water. If you're enjoying this video, please be sure to like it. This is how the video can reach more people. It is also a good time to subscribe to the channel. You can subscribe now. It is completely free and that way you will miss any of our upcoming adventures.
later this morning, uh, last night, we went to EDC, an EDM music festival here in Mexico City. It was so much fun. Uh, we're going to be uploading a couple of videos about it. Um, we have a second day today. We're going uh, again tomorrow. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Probably be uploading those within the next couple of weeks. Uh, for now, we need to get some Mexican pesos from the ATM. We ran out of cash last night. And then we're going to be looking for some breakfast. So let's see what we can find. This is definitely not the place to be. Uh, they have floors and floors of the traditional Mexican bread, which is called pan dulce, and it's just incredible. So we got about 12 pieces of pan dulce, some Mexican bread, and they pack it in this little bag. Um, and it was 95 pesos, which is like five US dollars. It's crazy. Um, so definitely when coming to Mexico, you get your money's worth when it comes to food because uh, first it's delicious, and then it's, it's just super cheap compared to the US. So um, now I need to go and find some coffee. This area in Mexico City is called Reforma, and what you see behind me, that's the Angel of Independence, which was built in the early 1900s to commemorate 100 years of Mexico's independence from Spain. But there are a lot of interesting facts about this monument. The Angel is a statue of Victoria, the ancient Roman goddess of victory. She holds a crown of laurel in one hand to place on the head of triumphant independence insurgents and a broken chain in the other symbolizing three centuries of Spanish rule in Mexico. Within the base of the Angel of Independence is a tiny mausoleum with the remains of Mexico's greatest generals who were active during the fight for independence, along with the remains of one woman, one of the first female journalists in Mexico and founder of the independence movement. I wanted to talk a little bit about safety because I know some of you have asked and I want to make sure that I uh, kind of share our experience uh, for us. We've traveled to Mexico um, by land and also by air several times and we've, we've never had any issues. We've gone to Cancun, uh, to Isla Mujeres, which is outside of Cancun. This is our second time here in Mexico City. Uh, we also have gone to some other southern states, uh, Guanajuato, Michoacan, some large cities there, small towns. Uh, and we've been in tourist areas, locals, um, and we've never had any issues. Uh, so for us, Mexico is very safe. But just like when you travel to any other large metropolitan area or, or a different country, you just have to be uh, street smart and just be aware of your surroundings, uh, protect your valuables. But otherwise, we've never had any issues and the Mexican people are very welcoming and hospitable. Uh, so we always enjoy coming back here and you know, this, the food is amazing and super cheap. So, um, you know, when you, when you look at other cities in, in, in other countries, uh, there are some areas that are good, some areas that are not so good. So obviously just do your research, but for us, Mexico City uh, or Mexico in general has been uh, very safe. Right, um, it was so good that I don't even remember what we had. But, um... 